Well, how about y'all? This is Daniel Nicholson with Nicholson Farms, and welcome back to another video. I'm waiting on Maddie to get down here to the farm, and today we're going to be working with our goats. We're going to be treating them for ticks. In a previous video, I think it was two videos back, uh, we ran all our goats through the chute, and we dewormed who needed to be dewormed. We banded our little bucks and gave C, D, and T. But during that process, we noticed a lot of ticks on our goats. Uh, the moms, the babies, everybody had ticks on their ears and that kind of surprised me. I've never really seen goats with ticks on them too much and maybe one or two here and there. So I was kind of taken back by it and I knew we needed to do something. We noticed a lot of our goats were kind of pale in their eyelids. So we did deworm them, uh, but also I think these ticks might be contributing some of that blood loss. Uh, things like ticks and also lice can contribute to, you know, blood loss. They're a parasite too. They're after the same thing. They're after blood. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and treat the whole herd today uh, for ticks, lice, whatever it'll kill uh, is good for me. We just want these goats to be as healthy as possible. But the main thing we're going to, for is a dog tick is what I believe it is. Just a little small brown tick with a couple white spots on it. And we just want to get this stuff out of the herd. We don't want to have to worry about it infecting our goats anymore. And in our last video, I kind of ended the video asking the question, what should I use? Because I've never really uh, looked into ticks. I've never really looked into treating ticks too much. And so we got several comments back with the same answer. And also the research I did on my own came up with the answer as well. And that's what's behind me. Uh, this is Ultra Boss. I'll order some. It's a pyrethrin bread based. Uh, it's got 5% pyrethrin, another word that I can't I can't um, pronounce and then even another word I can't pronounce uh, but this is used for cattle horses sheep and goats uh, it's pretty simple you know, this is the oil based product you're just gonna squirt it on their back kind of like a um, pour kind of like a pour on wormer for cattle uh, it's the direction say for lactating or non lactating does or goats uh, 1.5 milliliters per 50 pounds a lot of our kid goats are in that 30 to 40 pound range. Uh, we got a couple of them that's closer to that 50 pounds. And a lot of our does are somewhere between 80 and 100, maybe a smidge over 100 for a couple of them. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it kind of simple. What I've got is a automatic drench gun that I can set as low as one milliliter per dosage. So my plan is to just, you know, for the smaller kids, one squirt for some the big kids the ones that are growing really well uh, probably two squirts and then our full-grown goats we're going to do three squirt squirts right on their back but i'm gonna have to wait on maddie to get here i don't want to run them all back down here to the main barn uh running them through the chute and all that i think that's just gonna take a long time what i do have working for me is the goats have not been out all day they've been getting out every morning onto our neighbor's pasture uh, to graze throughout the whole day uh, so they're kind of fussing at me right now they're calmed down since i started the video uh, but we're going to let them out that gate over there and we're just that's where maddie's going to come in handy she's going to work that gate try to get these goats into a single file line uh, where we can just squirt it on their back as soon as they walk through the gate at least that's the plan uh, if we don't get them all i guess it'll be okay might have to just kind of keep track of who we did and who we didn't get and not the rest of them out tomorrow all right, so we got everybody in our little corner here by the gate. We're just gonna draw up 50 cc's of this stuff into this big old drench gun. I got it set to one milliliter per one. So we're gonna set the camera up. Maddie's gonna be working the gate and hopefully these guys fall out one by one. And we can get them all treated. Hopefully this is going to work quick and it's be a nice short little video.
got one by. Come on, go. Come on, go. Everybody's not wanting to participate. There we go. Huh? I can't hold it in. Well, that didn't go 100% to plan, but I'd say we got all but maybe what, two or three, four, maybe five. She said six or seven. I think we got more than that. Uh, but I did get the ones that I really wanted to hit, some of the ones that looked a little uh, worse the other day whenever we dewormed everything. And some of the some of the nannies that doesn't have as much condition on them, uh, we did get those. Some of the ones that got by me were fast. That means they're healthy, so we got them knocked out. We're gonna see how this does. I can't remember how long it is until you do it again. Give me one second. The label says not more than once every two weeks. Uh, so maybe in about two weeks, we'll treat them again. Uh, just kind of keep an eye out on the ticks. Uh, a lot of times they're on the outside of the ear so we can kind of see them. Uh, so we'll just kind of have to see. I really think our tick problem came from it being so hot and dry this year. Uh, we had a very hot and dry spring. We went like six or seven weeks without any measurable rain. And then I turned these goats out on this pasture with very tall grass, and I think that's where our ticks came from. They've mowed down that grass a good bit now, uh, so hopefully the tick problem's behind us. But also this stuff is gonna cover for any lice or anything like that. And some of these does that look a little bit worn down from having kids and having a little bit of higher or deep worm load, hopefully this will help them out, make sure they don't get any lice or anything like that that's going to drag them down as well. So now that we got the goats taken care of, they're over on the neighbor's property munching down on some grass, enjoying life. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. But before I do that, I will say this is the first time we've used this product. Uh, it's Highly recommended on the internet. Had a couple comments that recommended it. I'm not saying what we just did was the best way to apply it, uh, but that was just the simplest way we could do it this afternoon without taking the goats all the way down to the barn, running them through the chute, stressing them out more than we had to. But I'd say we got probably 90% of them covered with that stuff. But time will tell and see how it works. Like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. I am gonna sneak out 
to the pasture. I'll get a couple clips of the goats just kind of hanging out, enjoying life out there. I'll throw at this end of this video. I got a couple little things I got to do. Not really worth making a video out of. But I appreciate you hanging out with us today. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment. And we'll see y'all in the next one.